There are some lawyers and many clients that don't understand the two purposes of a review. One purpose is obviously if you can get some things changed in your franchise agreement, if you can get them modified, if you can get the rates down, the royalties down, the uh, exclusive territories, the personal guarantee, there are all types of things that you'd like not to have in the agreements. They're drafted by franchisors and they have provisions that demonstrate excessive control over the franchise relationship and they're all pro-franchisor. The real reason why you should get a review is you need to see how bad these provisions are relative to the others that are offered by other franchises. So if you've got a an exclusive territory that says it will be voided for any default and you've got other competing franchises that have an airtight exclusive territory, even though your franchisor that you're looking at will not change that provision, you still need to know what the effects of that provision could be, how you could lose your business because of it, and whether others are offering it or not. Those are valuable pieces of information that a good franchisee lawyer that's read thousands of these will be able to tell you. 